This is the person in you. These are your genes. You are two in one, all of you. There is part of you that is good. There is part of you that is bad. You know you're a bad person. A real bad man. We may not have seen it, but in you, you know, I'm a real bad man. You know that. You, I, we don't need to prophesy. You know. You know. Even me. I... <laughs> so Paul says, I want to do what is good. But I find myself doing what is bad. Why? There is a fight within yourself. I don't know if you are there. Many people, you must not be scared of the devil. You must be scared of yourself more than being scared of the devil. So who is this guy? And who is this guy? This is the real you that your mama gave birth to. But remember, your mama's genes are not in you. If we are testing DNA, we don't check with your mother. The DNA you have is from your father's side. That's why you are in the generation of your father. Generation is gene and ration. Ration means distribution. So generation is distribution of genes. The genes in you are the same genes that were in your father. The genes that were in your father are the genes that were in your grandfather. So your great-grand-grandfather is in you. I don't know if you follow. So Abraham's genes are lying, no matter how anointed he is. He is the father of faith, but a great liar. Because of the genes. He gives birth to Isaac. Nobody teaches anybody to lie. This baby... Come to the kitchen, see the baby eating sugar. Are you eating sugar? <laughs> Telling lies? Nobody taught you how to lie. It's in the genes. Abraham says, this is not my wife. To, his wife is standing there. You know, it's better to lie about your wife when she is far. Ah, that woman ah, is one of the people I'm with. But she's next to him. That's not my sister. That's not my wife. That's my sister right there. Isaac comes 20 years later. He doesn't know the father lied. What type of a lie? And he meets a father and he says, this is not my wife, this is my sister. Why? It's in his genes. I don't know if you follow. Then Isaac gave birth to Jacob. Jacob comes, he's a greater liar than Abraham, than Isaac. He is lying to his father. He's lying to his father-in-law. He's everywhere he's going, he's lying. Even to an angel, he's lying. You can lie, but not to an angel. I don't know if you follow. He passes his genes to 11 boys. Because we gave birth to the last one. They took Joseph, sold him as a slave. Ten of his sons comes with a lie to their father. Why? What's lying is not him. Is the genes in him. Why? Your genes have a memory. That's why when you get cancer, the doctor will ask you, is there anyone in your family who ever had cancer? Your father, your grandfather, your auntie. Why? Your genes just remembered I have cancer. After 40 years, your genes will just remember if cancer, cancer appears. You didn't eat anything that brought cancer in you. Your genes is a memory. I'm having headaches. Where are they coming from? My father used to have them. 
And my grandfather used to have I'm wearing glasses. Why? My father was wearing glasses. My grand grandfather was wearing glasses. So the genes in you are the extension of your bloodline. So when we are dealing with an outer, we are not dealing with this person. That's where pastors don't understand. Oh, you receive Jesus. You don't need more prayers. You don't need altars. You don't need fastings. Uh uh. You have Jesus in your heart, but these genes of you are still lying. 